Complete in the square is a pretty mechanical process, but it gets a little more uh, interesting when we do it with fractions. And the reason it's exactly the same thing, but people tend not to enjoy fractions very much for whatever reason. So let me just go through five steps of uh, five operations we're going to do with the fractions for completing the square. On this side, I'm going to show you the simple calculation. And on this side, I'm going to be working out an example. But there will be a video coming right after this, which I will go through a number of examples uh, in more detail. Okay, so this is just to give context as to why I'm telling you here to divide. So part one, divide. What's 7 divided by 2? Well, it's 3.5, but if I wanted in fractions, it basically just 7 divided by 2. And that's my answer, and that's very simple. If I've got 5 divided by 2 thirds, well, when I divide by a fraction, I actually multiply by the reciprocal. So it would be 5 times 3 over 2. And to do this, I basically multiply the tops and I multiply the bottoms. So this is 5 divided by 1. So 5 times 3 is 15. And 1 times 2 is 2. And that's right. Now that's an improper fraction, but that's okay. We're going to leave it like that. We're not going to convert it. So that's nice. Um, 7 divided by a half. Now, it's not the same as 7 divided by 2, obviously, right? And you'll be maybe surprised when you see that if I divide by a fraction, it's like multiplying by the reciprocal. So 7 times 2 over 1. Well, 2 over 1 is just 2, so 7 times 2 is 14. So when you divide by a fraction that's less than 1, you end up with a, with a bigger number. Uh, in this case, I'm using the divided by because when we factor out the 2, I need to do 7 divided by 2. And I'm just going to write 7 over 2 for our fractions. The next step, or the next operation in completing the square is divided by 2. Because I need to put 2 on the top and 2 on the bottom, right? Sorry, 2 on the right and 2 on the bottom, the tiles. So. If I got 4 divided by, sorry, 4 over 5 divided by 2, well, actually, you know what? Half of 4 is going to be 2 anyway. But I may do it the wrong way. That divided by half is like multiplied by 1 over 2, like the reciprocal. So I'll do it the long way. 4 divided by 5 is like 4 over 5 times a half. Well, I'll just multiply the top. And that's 4, and that's 10, 5 times 2. And now I can simplify. I should have simplified right over there. But if I didn't, it's 4 over 10, I can divide by 2. And that's just 2 over 5, which is what I was telling you. If I got 4 fifths, 4 of anything, half of that would be 2 of whatever. So when the top number is even, you just divide it by 2. But if the top number is not even, then I just do have to do this part. So 5 sevenths divided by 2, it's like 5 sevenths multiplied by a half, which is equal to 5 over 14. And there's nothing to simplify in this case. So on this example, I've got 7 halves. I need to put half on the top and half on the, on the bottom. So 7 halves divided by... 2, it's like multiplied by half, so 7 times 1 is 7, and 2 times 2 is 4, so that's 7 over 4. Okay, what's next? Well, I'm going to need to square this, right? So how do you square a fraction? Pretty easy. Basically, two, 3 over 2 squared is like saying, well, 3 times 2 times 3 over 2 times 3 over 2. If I multiply them across, you can see that this is 3 squared over 2 squared, and it's just 9. 9 over 4. So when I square a fraction, I basically square the top, I square the bottom. Super simple. So without writing all this stuff, if I need to square this minus 3 over 8, what's minus 3 squared? It's a positive 9. And what's 8 squared? Hopefully you remember your times table. 64. So we can do that in one step really easily. So what is the number that I need to add? Well, if I've got 7 over 4 on the top and 7 over 4 on the bottom, the square is 7 over 4 squared, which is 49 over 16. Okay. 
Now I need to take this out and multiply by what's in front. So how do I multiply and simplify a fraction? Well, it's going to work out nicely every time in this way. Say I've got 25 over 16 times 4. Well, the 4 and the 16 can cancel out. So I can simplify it by saying 4 divided by 4. 4 divided by 4. I can't write this. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So 25 times 1 is 25. And 4 times 1 is 4. So that would be just 25 over 4. Same thing here. If I got 49 divided by 64 times 2. Well, I can cancel out or simplify the 2 and the uh, 64. 64 divided by 2 is 32. So now I've got 49 on top and 32 on the bottom. And there it is. So in my example, when I take the 49 times 16 times 2, Basically, the 2 is going to simplify with a 16, and the 2 will disappear, and the 16 will become 8. So now I have minus 49 over 8. Over eight. And lastly, we just got to add or subtract. And adding or subtracting is the most complicated one if you want to. we got to get a common denominator, right? So if I got 2 thirds plus 2, why well, remember that this is like 2 over 1. So then I want to get 2 thirds plus something over 3 to make it. So 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6. So therefore this is just 8 thirds. And when we add or subtract, remember the denominators stay the same. We just add the tops. So 8 divided by 7 minus 3 or 8 sevenths minus 3. Well, I need to write it as 8 over 7 minus something over 7. So there's a 1 underneath. The 1 times 7 makes it to 7, so i got to multiply the top. 21 on the top, because that's 7 times 3. And then you can tell that 21 divided by 7 is 3, so that's the same thing. And, and 6 divided by 3 is 2, so you, you represent it in the same number. And I just put them together. 8 minus 21 is equal to negative. What's 21? That's 2013. I hope so. <laughs> and over here, the 5. So I got minus 49 over 8 from before. And the 5, I'm going to rewrite it as something over 8. So the bottom multiplied by 8. The top multiplied by 8. 5 times 8 is 40. And then you just put it together. So f minus 49 plus 40 is equal to minus 9 over 8. And there's our vertex form, and that's our vertex. More practice to come.